chapter 20, the ticking thing starts to tick louder. Again, I will not worry you with the details of the long journey home, the dragons they saw, the storms they survived, the perils of the horrific crossing, or we would be here forever. Every day, Hiccup checked the ticking thing. As they got closer and closer to home, their hearts were lifting with excitement. But something had begun to worry Hiccup. It was something that Old Wrinkly had said on the beach on the day of the intertribal friendly swimming race. He had told Hiccup that he had to be back within three months, five days and six hours. Now, why would Old Wrinkly say that? It may seem obvious to you, dear reader, if you know all the facts, but it never occurred to any of them them that the race that they'd been participating in was either but particularly important in itself it was only a friendly as far as they were concerned after all and there were always competitions going on in the other go, or that the race could still be going on all that time later so he got to know why old Rickley would say such a precise time and it was concerning him because according to his reading of the ticking thing they had now been gone for three months four days and 13 hours and they were still at least two days sailing away from the archipelago do you know why you're worrying about this said Fishlicks, who was in a hugely happy mood now they were nearly home probably didn't mean anything at all you know old Rickley, he's not that great a soothsayer and he's sometimes a bit batty what if it did mean something, insisted Hiccup? What if Old Wrinkly had seen what was going to happen to us? He knew we weren't going to come back that day, didn't he? And look, we're nearly coming in at exactly the time he said. It's just that we're going to be a bit late. And he particularly told me not to be late. The next day, Hiccup was even more worried and the ticking thing began to tick louder as Old Wrinkly said it would. Tick tock, tick tock, tick tock. Look, said Hiccup anxiously, that means there's only six hours left. And even though it's a very windy day, we're at least... He checked the ticking thing. 24 hours sailing distance away. We're going to be late. Wait for what? Said Fishlegs in exasperation. There's nothing we can do about it anyway. And old Rickley probably didn't mean anything when he said it. He kind of fiddled and fiddled with the ticking thing. To, um, as he worried in the back of it, fell open. And for the first time, he noticed, along with the little delicate moving wheels on the inside, there was a tiny little inscription. Two letters. G, G. I know what that stands for. Hiccup's heart beat a little quick after he had seen those lessons before and he knew what they stood for. Grim beard, the ghastly. Hiccup had assumed that this ticking thing had been made by Norbert's father, Big Job, and he'd always felt a little guilty about stealing it from Norbert. But it seemed that Big Job had perhaps stolen it himself. But this ticking thing surely belonged to the heir of Grimbeard the Ghastly, and the heir to Grimbeard the Ghastly was Hiccup. And I was absolutely sure there was a precise reason for the time that Old Wrinkly had told him. He did not yet know what that reason was, but he was certain that somehow there was some kind of pattern to it that he did not yet understand. Some way in which everything interconnected like the tiny little wheels revolving in the instrument in front of him. Six hours, tick tock, tick tock, tick tock, tick tock, went the ticking thing a little louder still. I was never going to get that six hours by boat. Hiccup looked up and his eye caught Norbert's defective flying machine, salvaged from the sea by the prudent wanderers and now lashed to the figurehead of one of the other wanderer boats. There was a very strong wind today. Hiccup knew from the time he spent in a Roman observation balloon, that's a long story, don't ask, that flying was much quicker than sailing. I could that flying machine actually worked. Fishlick saw Bob Hiccup looking at and guessed what he was thinking. Oh no, Hiccup. Oh, seriously, you've got to be joking. Remember how many times they tried that thing out on the journey and how many times it fell out of the sky like a stone? That flying machine doesn't work. We thought to stop the boat from sinking and scare away the big sea machine didn't work, didn't we? Hiccup pointed out and we were wrong. But we're so close now, so close and so alive, which is the important thing, gasped Fishlegs. What's the point of risking it all right now, after all we've been through? Well, we're so very nearly there. No, I'm putting my foot down this time. I can't let you do it. Tick tock, tick tock, tick tock, tick tock, tick tock, tick tock, tick tock. Went the ticking thing, let it louder and louder. And chapter 21, it's called The End of the Swing Race. I think Hiccup is right. Thank goodness for Hiccup that he realised that there was something important about that time. Anyway, so we'll have chapter 21 tomorrow.